I am Jason Pfau, and I'm a financial advisor. I'm Bill Holiday, also a financial advisor. And this video is going to be about how to pick a financial advisor, a financial planner. Yeah, what are the biggest issues in determining if, uh, if it's a good fit for you? So what would you say is number one? Well, you know, actually, I was just talking with my wife about this last night. So I asked her, you know, if I was not here, if I was not around, something happened to me. How would you pick a financial advisor? And she was like, well, I'd just go to Bill. I was like, well, okay, sure. But, you know, I was like, fine, but let's say that wasn't the case, you know. And she, she was like, well, I, I don't know. And so I feel like maybe I failed a little bit in explaining what I do to her. But, uh, but uh, you know, it brings up an interesting point. So I said, you know, the most important thing to start with is you want to make sure that they are a fiduciary. So that means that they are only working for what is your best interest. So they're putting your interests ahead of their own always. That's that's kind of the most important thing you want to look for. Right? Yeah, and just how they're compensated. I mean, that ties in with fiduciary. Right. Investment or financial advisors are compensated through either commissions, fees and commissions, or fee only. And fee only means there's no other, they're unbiased, there's no other conflict of interest, there's no other reason that they're making investment advice except for, for your best interest. Right. So there's some advisors that will call themselves a fiduciary, but they charge a, you know, a fee, they call it fee-based, but they're also getting commissions from the products that they sell. So how can you really be unbiased if you're compensated differently for selling one product versus another. You, you just can't. Yeah, it can influence your recommendations right. and make you push certain products over others. And there are other compensations that advisors receive if they are not fee only. They may be getting commissions, they may be getting, they may be selling a product and getting incentives to sell more. It could be trips, it could be bonuses. Um, they could be getting ongoing fees for selling products. So really we'd recommend not not using an advisor who's selling you products and right. getting compensated for those sales. Yeah, definitely. And then kind of the next step after you've, you've weeded them down to that portion, which is probably going to be somewhere around maybe 15 to 20 percent of advisors working out there. So yeah, that's, that's just something to keep in mind is it's actually a very small percentage of advisors that actually work to those standards. That are fee only yeah. and held to a fiduciary duty. Right. So then once you've kind of, you've you know, compress it down to that. The next step would be talk about, you know, what is their background? How do they, you know, make their decisions, that kind of thing. So one of the things to look for would be a certification like a CFP, a Certified Financial Planner. And so that means that they've, you know, gone through a series of six different comprehensive courses about financial planning. They've had to pass a test to demonstrate, you know, a knowledge and a mastery of those subjects. So you know that it's not somebody who just decided to call themselves a financial planner and has no real background in the industry. Yeah, I think other issues, you want to know their education, credentials, how much experience they have, how long they've been doing this, how long the firm's been around, who you're going to work with. Are you going to work with the person you're meeting with or are they going to pass you off to someone else? Um, how many clients are they handling? Because there is a capacity, and so if they already have a hundred, a couple hundred clients, they may not give you much attention. Absolutely. So that should be a great place to start for picking a financial advisor. Um, if you have any more questions for us, please comment or you can contact us directly through the website. Um, and so please do if you have any questions and if you like the video please give it a like and subscribe to our channel you'll be seeing a lot more videos like this in the future thanks, thanks. take care